Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here with a little mod spotlight on better chests. We've been playing with this mod in the Hypermind pack and I thought I'd give it a little light on the subject. Um, first thing you really want to start with and know about this mod, um, it's made by Aroma1997. Uh, he made it during a mod jam uh, either last year or this year. I can't remember which one it was. I don't have the wiki open at the moment. But uh, there is a couple of things you'll want to get started with. First off is this book right here. It's called the Better Chest User Manual. And if I click on it, this is how you make it. It's just a book and one of these upgrade cases, and you get eight of them from that. If I look through it, it just kind of goes through and tells you different information that you need to know about his mod. I'm not going to go ahead and read it all to you because that's you, you can do that. So... Uh, the next thing you'll want to make is an adjustable chest. They're pretty simple to make, just surround a chest like a furnace, and they're good to go. By themselves, nothing special. Just a nine slot inventory, nothing fantastic about them. They're a little different, they don't connect. So, like I said, nothing real special about them by themselves. But once we get into some of these, you'll see what makes this mod cool. Backpack works the same way, nothing special offhand, but we can get into some of the uh, upgrades and they do become very useful. The next tool is going to be the hammer. This is what will allow you to uh, pick up inventories if you need to. I got the magnet on. Uh, pick up the inventory if you need to, or you can even adjust some of the upgrades once you put them on. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into some upgrades. Alright, so I have uh, quite a few upgrades lined up here. Uh, just something to keep in mind. Anything you see on the top, that is going to deal with what that upgrade can go on. So both will do both the chest and the bag. And then that one just says chest. A couple of these just say chest. Um, and then there's a couple over here. Now I have a nice little grid here that kind of shows you uh, what's what. And once we go through everything, you'll kind of understand what those are. But first off, we're going to start with the most important one, in my opinion. Nine slots for a chest is nothing to write home to mom about, but it gets better, trust me. So if we open up this chest, we have some slot upgrades. And I'm not going to show you the recipe, just because, you know, any eye, you guys can have that. Um, I'm just going to put in nine of these, and I'm actually going to switch over to survival, just so you can see them going in. One. We've doubled our slot inventory. We now have 18. If I do another one, 27, 36, and it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. And each one you add in adds another 9, all the way up to 100, I do believe. So we have 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 times 6 is close enough <laughs> I don't know exactly what they have in it I haven't bothered to count but yeah so these are very nice you they're huge chests at this point um, I believe even bigger than a double chest or way bigger than a double chest excuse me next is gonna be the collector upgrades now these are gonna be cool um, but if you look at the tooltip it says requires energy upgrade that's what we got right here we'll just have to uh, put this on first because if you try and put the uh, uh, collector upgrades they're just not gonna go on so we're gonna do the energy upgrade first and then we're gonna do a collector upgrade it's gonna do pretty much what you expect it would do it's gonna just collect items in the area see we only put one upgrade in so it's got a smaller range but if I put in another one yep if I go to that point and then if I go ahead and put in all of these should be able to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should be able to throw something down on that slot there and it gets picked up. So eight blocks away will get you. There is how many you can have, and that's how many uh, of these upgrades are on there. The next one is gonna be the light upgrade. This thing's pretty cool. Um, let me go ahead and turn it to night. As you can see, it's pretty dark around here. So, you know, let's hide some light. Give it a second to update, and there we go. It's got the luminosity of, I think, glowstone. So it's it's pretty, pretty good. And it's a nice way to hide any lighting in your storage area without really hiding it. It's actually in plain sight. I'm going to go back to day. 
Uh, this is a void upgrade. The void upgrade is going to do exactly what you think. I put it on there and we'll go ahead and throw in an adjustable chest in a bag and they're gone. It's just a void chest at this point. And then we have the cobble gin. Cobble gin is really cool. We're going to grab that and we're going to grab a bucket of lava and a bucket of water because uh, you need that for every cobble gin. We're going to go ahead and throw these two in there. As you see, without the upgrade, nothing's happening. But as soon as I throw the upgrade on there, you're going to get cobble being made very quickly. And it's it, like I said, it's, it's fairly quick. Um, nothing really required to do this. Now, I'm going to jump over here to the furnace upgrade. And we're going to come back to this because I'll show you a neat little trick with this. But for the furnace upgrade, we're going to need one of those energy upgrades. And then the furnace. Again, you have to put the energy on first, or the other ones will not go on. And so I'm going to put in a stack of cobble. And as you see, it's going to start smelting them right away. So I have actually used this in conjunction with the cobble gin one. I'm going to grab a couple of these. It's already got an energy. Wait, I don't think it has an energy, so we're going to put one in there. And then a furnace. And then so we have a cobble gin plus we have stone being made for absolutely cheap. There is no materials required for this furnace upgrade except for the actual upgrade itself. So you have no fuel involved. It's not the fastest thing, but it works. And I like to spread them out like that. And so I always have more stone than cobble. Next is going to be the rain upgrade. Rain upgrade is going to require a few buckets, but we're going to throw that on that chest and then throw some buckets in there. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the rain through any eye. There we go. And you're going to notice that this chest is going to fill up the buckets with water. Now, this is not the coolest thing in the world, but if you do have crafting recipes that require water through buckets, it could be useful for you. Go ahead and turn off that rain one more time. And we should see the sun poke its head out. There it is. And then we have the ticking upgrade. Now, I have not been able to find anything that I can show this on um, because I don't really understand or I think it requires an energy upgrade. Throw that in. And then the ticking upgrade. Now, I haven't found anything, but it's supposed to tick items in the inventory like they would tick in your inventory. So I'm assuming it's like Tinkish Construct stuff um, can recharge and stuff like that. I think. I'm not really sure. Next over here we have a feeding upgrade. Now this thing is pretty pretty cool. I'm gonna come over here and you see we have some wheat in there. We have one, two, three, four, five. Yep, five cows. I'm gonna throw that feeding upgrade on there and we should very shortly see, yep, it's used some of that wheat up. We have one cow, two cows, two baby cows. So uh, three baby cows actually, excuse me. Um, so this will continue to get you more and more uh, of the cows, but will not overpopulate. It does. It is smart in the way that it will figure out how many entities are there, and if it's got too many, it won't breed them anymore. So it's very nice. Next, we're going to come over here to the Unbreakable. Now, this is going to do exactly what you think, and especially when you see two TNTs and a lever, yeah, it's going to do what you think. So. I believe I have the unbreaking one. Oh, I don't. Excuse me for a moment while I get this. It's right there. I'm going to throw this puppy on there. Oh, maybe I already have it on there. Yep, I already have it on there. Okay, so we're going to flip the lever and walk back away. Boom. All right, as you've seen, the chest is still there. All the contents are intact, so we got everything in there. So these are pretty nice, especially, you know, starting off. Keeps all your stuff from being blown up by creepers and whatnot. Next, we have the bags. Now, there are a lot of these upgrades that you see over here that are allowed to be on the bags. Any of these ones with the orange tops are able to be used. And so I have uh, furnace, energy, void, slot, cobble gin collector then there's two over here that we haven't messed with just yet uh, that would be the feeding upgrade and the resupply upgrade I think I said those backwards but yeah we'll have those two upgrades and then if I knock this bag off of here and take that if we come around here I, I should have a 
there we go we're gonna put these on there now the way these work uh, you don't click on them or anything but when you open the bag um, you can put in for like the feeding one you can put in food and it will only feed you when you need to have that food so like bread I think is like three haunches it only feeds you when you have three haunches gone so it's pretty nice in the resupply if I go ahead and put in some of this cobble right here and put in some more so if I need to build a structure with cobble it's going to keep my uh, first slot there filled with 64 cobble as long as I have it in the bag and that's where it's pulling it from is right there in the bag so I can just sit here and build all the things and I'm never gonna run out in that slot until I run out so guys that's just about it that's gonna wrap up our mod spotlight you're gonna see everything on here um, is gonna be orange for both yellow is for the chests and red was for the bag only so if you guys have any questions concerning this mod please let me know I'd be happy to answer anything and if you have another mod that you'd like me to uh, spotlight for you please again let me know I'd be happy to and I'm always open to ideas so thank you very much have an awesome day